Just tell me when. All right, everyone, welcome to producer training. Uh, we have Josh Neighbors here, former sports director, aka granddad, here granddad. to show us the boards. Um, he's going to come on like he's doing a regular sports talk show. So, Josh, take it away. All right, so this works for any type of show you're producing. The steps that you take are always the same. I'm going to act like I'm doing my sports show just because it's the easiest way to do it. So uh, the first thing that you do when you come in to produce is go to the computer and start your archive. And you guys can see right here, NiceCast is what we use for archiving. When you look at the dock, I'll direct your attention over here. On the dock, it's what looks like a uh, satellite. So you can see it right here, N NiceCast, looks like a satellite. So that is uh, what you use. If the window is not showing um, for some reason, and you don't know where it is, uh, whether it's minimized or whatever, uh, just go ahead and click on NiceCast, and it'll pull it back up here. So the one thing we know we never do is we never hit stop broadcast. We know that for sure. Never hit stop broadcast, this button right here. So uh, to start your archive, sometimes the archive window is not showing. If it's not showing, what I'll do is I'll go to Window, and I'll hit Show Archiving. And then this will pop up right here. Before you hit archive, you need to go to select down here, because it says archive folder. This will decide where your archive is going. So my show is called No Huddle. So I'll just type in No Huddle. And there is the folder. I'll click that. I'll hit choose. And then I will hit archive. In Studio A, this will be done on the computer that is to the left. So the furthest left computer. Um, that is that is the monitor that controls this. It's also the monitor that controls the, the cable television for reference. So then um, in here, we really don't use the bottom monitor that much. Um, uh, we use this. This one is the other monitor that we'll be using. So for the sake of consistency, I'm going to stick with computer-related um, things, and then I'll move to the board. Um, so, okay, I've started my archive. My archive is going, and now... Um, I need to, what I like to do is I like to prepare breaks. I like to prepare my breaks for my show uh, before, I, before my show even starts. Um, the one crucial thing for people to realize, and I think the one thing that gets people backwards, is that when we hit break, and this break appears, this is not a commercial break. This is a talk break. And what a talk break is, when it's in the queue here in Megaseg, what will happen is, once it hits, and it's, you can see here, it's, it's coming, it's scheduled to play up next. When the break plays, nothing is going to be playing. That is when you should be talking, when that break is up. So in 42 seconds, when uh, Face the Sun, by Lenny, uh, featuring Lenny Kravitz, uh, when that song is, is over, that break will hit. Uh, we don't want that, so for right now, Excuse me, I'm going to slide this down right here, and I'm going to show you how to make a, how to make a break, an actual break. Um, I like to call it a break sandwich, because I think it's the most accurate term for it. So what you'll do is, you've got one break there, you get a second break. All right, those are the buns of your break sandwich. The content in between should be spots. So we've got some spots here. I'm going to put these between. I'll put, let's put two spots in. All right, and then I'll put a I'll put um, a PSA, public service announcement. I'll put one of those in, and also I'll put in a promo, as well. Got one in here. Put those in. Remember, PSAs are public service announcements. So those are things like, uh, you know, at tailgating. You know, uh, be responsible while tailgating. You should not be smoking. Anti-drug stuff. Don't gamble. Uh, National Guard. Drunk driving, all those kinds of things are PSAs. Spots are promoting things that the station needs to promote. Like it's, uh, it's like the advertisements. Our version of advertisements are spots. They're not straight up um, advertisements, but those are the advertisements. You see El Rancho's in there, Craft Beer Cellar in there, is in there. Those are older sponsors, uh, but sponsors nonetheless. Sweepers, I don't play sweepers as much. They're kind of KCOU promos in a way. Um, they, they just kind of promote KCOU in weird, funny, cool ways. And then uh, promos are promoting, like, shows. 
or upcoming, uh, like, so like my show, No Huddle, you may be finding a No Huddle promo in there. Or it's promoing stuff that's upcoming. So like uh, KCOU's helping uh, sponsor a concert. That'll be up there in promos too. Also, the other thing that you can kind of fill in with breaks are legal IDs. That is a, a, a requirement that a legal ID is played between 58 and 02 every hour. So right now, if you go to the top right, you'll see it's 238. So in 20 minutes, or is it 236? 236, excuse me. So between 258 and 302, a PSA must be played. It's, it's a requirement with the FCC. It's something you have to do. And also, it lets people know, hey, you're listening to KCLU 88.1 FM. It's also worth noting that Megaseg will automatically pro program those in. However, if you're talking over 58 to uh, 202, or like within the 58 minute to mm -hmm. the second minute of the next hour, you need to make sure that you play one as soon as you're off the air. Yeah, it's yes, it's very important. Sometimes you can miss them, and if you do like miss them, like Garrett said, make sure you play it. But like Garrett said, Megaseg will automatically populate, uh, they will put a, a legal ID in there at 58. It usually when it, at 258, a legal ID would pop up and it would come in to that, um, that section right there. Uh, would come in and, and be in the next. It's also a good reminder when you see it pop up to say, okay, I need to go to break. Because you should be going to break at the top of, uh, excuse me, at, at the end of each hour. Mm -hmm. So it's important to do that. So the last thing you want to do, um, this break, it, it looks good. Um, you know, for shows, you know, for it to be a really good sounding show, the last thing you want to do is put some instrumental music in mm -hmm. to lead you back in uh, to break. And I'm just put, I'll just put, this is how we do instrumental in there for the sake of it. So, uh, let's see, I need to switch the places of those. So you'll see here, we've got the break sandwich. It's looking good. We've got a talk break here, and then we have the craft beer seller spot, a tailgating PSA, a promo right there, another PSA, and then the music back into a talk break. So that is a break sandwich. The one other thing that you could, um, you could kind of do is um, you know if you're starting your show, uh, put a put a. Usually people have intros, whatever you have, or whatever you would play a certain song. Make sure that is right here, so you can play that music and it fades into your show once you start. So, but this is what your break sandwich will look up, look like. All right. Now we're in Studio C right now, so for the sake of showing everybody uh, how this works, I'm going to uh, kind of show you what happens when the break occurs. So this button right here is next. That means go to the next thing. So whatever is... do that right up there. Yep, advanced. It's, yeah, advanced as well, too. They both do the same thing. So when you do that, whatever song is currently playing will end, and whatever is in the next section right here in the queue, you can see how they're numbered, is going to go up there. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit advance. And here it's going to take a second. And now you see, okay. So you'll see here, nothing is playing on Megaseg. And nothing will play until you hit Advance. Or you hit the, the next button right here. So once again, it's an indefinite break. And I like, to, I like to set up my actual breaks. I like to set up a lot of them when I come in. Especially for our guys and girls who produce games. It's really, really important that they make a lot of breaks. They're, they're, they're uh, they're ready at any point in case the broadcasters go to break, and they can do that. It's even more important that at the end of your show, you go and check the queue to make sure there's no breaks left in there. Because if you leave a talk break in there like this, and you leave, it's just going to sit there until somebody else comes up, and it's going to be dead air. So remember, make sure once your show is over to clear out that kind of stuff. And so then I just hit advance, and now these are playing. Uh, the, 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 stuff, the stuff in the break sandwich, the content is playing. And that stuff will play uh, until it hits this next talk break. So we have two more PSAs, or two more promos, PSAs, whatever. Then we have my, my music, and then we have another talk break. Wash, rinse, repeat. It's really, really easy. You can mix it up with what kind of music you put in there. Um, your break length can vary. Typically two to three minutes is kind of the ideal or preferred break. Um, if you have just been going for, you know, if you ended up kind of going a little bit longer or whatever, do a more extended break. Um, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom or whatever, make sure you put enough content in there to last you 
to your next talk break because last thing you want to do is go to the bathroom and not have enough you know stuff in your in the queue and when you come back it's dead air that's happened to me before so that's always a reminder to make sure to put more than you think you need if you need to um, you know if you need to talk to somebody if you have to go to the bathroom or if you need to go get some food whatever it is you shouldn't have food in the studio but whatever it is if you need to do something make sure you put enough in there and if Megaseg, last thing, I should have done this first, but if Megaseg does not show up, it is what I like to call a yin and yang symbol <laughs> down here. I don't really know. It's a, it kind of looks like a marble almost. Kind of like a wave. Yeah, a wave. Yes, it's a wave. So it's uh, two away from nice cast in here. Click on that if it's not showing, and that will come up right here. All right, so now we have taken care of the of setting up stuff. Um, in Megaseg. So I'm going to delete this last talk break so stuff will keep playing. And now we will move on to mics, which is um, something that I think a lot of us uh, need to work on. It's always good to have a refresher about when you're testing mics. This is why you get in early, and this is why we allow the, fi the five minute rule. That's why it's so important. It's important that you get out of there five minutes early, at least five minutes early, to allow the next show to come in because everybody's at kind of different points. And it's good to let everybody have that five minutes to get everything set up and get everything going. So I'm going to show you guys the board now and how that relates to the mics. So you're going to see the board here. Everything is laid out. Each one of these rows controls a certain thing. All right, Pioneer A, Pioneer B. I don't use the Pioneers very much. That's the Pioneer. Yeah, that's the Pioneer right there. Um, some people do. That's up to them. That's their preference. And basically what the Pioneer is, you can plug a USB right. into there and play songs. And play things. Songs, sounds that you recorded. Exactly. Uh, some people like the aux. That's what I, that's what I use for, uh, for things like that. Once again, it's personal preference. Then we go to, we go to the computer. You can see here, this is the on-air. This is the button that controls things going on. Uh, you never hit that. You, ne you never turn off the computer because nothing, nothing's going to be playing. Comrex for sports broadcast, then we have the mics. Then we go over here, and uh, what you guys have to know about these knobs is that this controls, in here, this one does not control anything in Studio C. This controls the headset volume here in Studio C. And you hear the song playing. And this controls the volume in the studio in general. So now it takes us to program one and program two, and you can see that there are these two buttons, um, program one and program two, they're labeled, and those are also are, are, are on every single row here. You'll see every single row, every single thing, has a program uh, one and program two assigned to it. So program one is what's going out on air. That is what's being played. That's the signal that we're sending out. Program 2 is a channel that we can use to test in here. So the first thing is first. If you want to test your mics in here, what you have to do is switch these from Program 1 to Program 2. In here, just send this one. Um, this one matters in here. In Studio A, this one right here controls the volume in the hallway. So actually do not change this one because they'll hear you testing your mic in the hallway, which we don't want. And not, not the end of the world if it happens, mm -hmm. but not ideal. So now we've got everything in here. Uh, everything we need in here is set to program two. So I'm going to take you over here now. I can't test my mic if we have music playing in the background, right? I mean, we wouldn't be able to hear myself. So what you want to do is take the computer off of program two by clicking that and the light is off. You'll see up here on this channel, it's still playing, so we still have the sound is going out there, it's fine. But now in program two in here, we have nothing, which is what we want, so now we can test. So this mic right here, I think it's actually mic two, is what I think it is. Yep. So I would turn this up, I would take it off of program one, because I don't want to go on air right now, and then I would turn it on. Testing, testing, gotta turn it up some more, there it is. Hi, this is Josh Neighbors. Hello, everybody. And, uh, and here to test. Hold on, I'll turn it there. Testing, testing. One, two, three. If your headset was on, you'd be hearing me right now. Um, so there you go. So I'm seeing it's, it's, it's up. It's working. We see that mic is right there. This mic's a little quiet. You kind of want to be sitting in the range. You can see, actually, the music's playing. You kind of want to be in this range right here between nine and three is kind of where you the sweet spot where you want to hit. 
Um, the music's a little loud, actually. You kind of just want to be in that zone where it's mostly green and maybe a little bit of orange, but mostly green. So now I've tested my mic, and it's sounding good. I'm good to go. All right. So now I'm going to turn my mic off. I'm going to put it back on program one. I know where my volume needs to be, so all I have to do when I come back on air is just turn the mic on next time. If I have a co-host at, uh, at mics three or four, the same process. You would take them off of program one, turn their mic on, make sure their volume's up, and then test their volume level to, and then get it to a point that works for you. Once all the mics are tested, we know the levels. What you can do is, and some of these buttons can be finicky, so just make sure you guys turn everything off and it's the right way. Put it back on one. And now, once all your mics are tested and everything, and if you're doing the aux, make sure you test your computer volume, or if you're doing the Pioneer, make sure you test the Pioneer volume. Or the phone. Or the phone as well, too, if you're gonna have a guest calling in. The phone is the same way, too. So then, what you would do is, all right, I'm all good to go now. You can put that back on to program two as well. So everything's tested, everything's ready to go, and now you're good to go to do your show. You set up your breaks, you started your archive, and you've made sure your mics have been tested and are ready to go. Um, and then also there are, there are some certain other things that are departmental, that, uh, that are preference. Um, things like, you know, in the sports department, we want to make sure we send our archives after, the, after games are over to the broadcasters. In music, I know it's very, very important to do the program logs, to make sure you're logging what is played, especially music-wise, what's played, what time, and how much it is played. So there's some definitely some, some, um, some particular things that are at, uh, particular to each department. Make sure you listen to your directors to get those details. So let's say I've done my show, I've had my fun, it's over. Make sure you stop your archive. It's a really important thing to do. And you stop your archive by the same way you started it. Just hit archive. And now it says inactive. That means your archive is over. It's been saved. You're, you'll go to your folder, wherever it was, and it is saved there. That is important to do. So the two steps after the show you might want to make sure you do are one, make sure there's no breaks left in the queue, and two, uh, make sure you stop your archive as well. And if you see here, it doesn't look like anything's mm -hmm. coming after the next thing in Megaseg. As long as it's on auto here in the top right corner, it will automatically generate content yep. to play on air. And Garrett, let me show them how that works. So have no fear, even though I'm going to skip ahead and go to this next song. Oh, look, it's populated more stuff in there. So we're okay. We are okay. Uh, and then I'm going to put a couple more tidbits here at the back end of this. So one thing to mention, Safe Harbor. It's something that we've all gone over. That is from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Safe Harbor stuff, it's not labeled in here, but in Megaseg, it is labeled dark red, uh, kind of a cherry red, kind of a apple red, fire hydrant red, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the, the, that color means it is explicit content. The, that content can be played between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. It is not to be played during other hours. If you hear it being played, what you do is you go into the studio, you hit that advance button, as soon as possible, you know, if, if you're around, if you're in the hallway, if you're walking to the student center and you hear it, try to rush down to KCOU and hit that advance button and make sure there's no other songs like that um, in there. Also, a lot of, the, um, a lot of the, the music and the spots and the PSAs are all color-coded. And that is one thing that, um, that is it's different in Studio A than it is in Studio C. But a lot of those things are the same. Uh, a lot of that stuff is the same. Another important thing when you end your show, another tidbit here, make sure you clean up. Make sure you put headsets back on racks. Um, here, our headsets go up on these. So you hang it up there. Tuck your chair in. Uh, it looks really bad when people walk by and there's chairs facing every direction and there's like four of them. Make sure you tuck your chair in and you leave it nice for the next group of people who are coming in after you. So you want to make sure you, uh, hang, you know, hang up mics, whatever. And then one thing that uh, I've, you know, I've spent time at SiriusXM, and one thing that a lot of people there, even some of the, be the best people they have, they do is, this video is great. It's meant to help you guys, and if there's certain things that are catching you, um, then you know, go back and certainly look at the video. But if you find a process, of, an order of operations that works for you, write it down. Write down the steps, and I know one thing that one of the best producers I worked with did was they got in the studio as early as possible, 
they put their checklist down and they've been there for over a year now and they do the checklist. And so for me sometimes, I like to go from starting the archive to testing mics, then doing Megaseg. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Find what other process works for you and do that. Because as long as you're following these steps, the order of operations sometimes does not matter. As long as you're following the correct steps to get ready for your show, and you know everything's on air, everything's fine, everything's tested, you're all good to go, you're feeling good about all your breaks or whatever, then you're fine. So find whatever works for you, let this video be a guide, and also one thing too is, it's okay to mess up. It is okay to mess up, it's going to happen, I mess up sometimes. Um, you know, like I was saying, I went to the bathroom last week during my show, and I didn't put enough stuff in the, to populate a break, didn't have enough PSAs and spots in there, and that reminded me now, oh, you know what, I need to make sure I put enough stuff in there. So, it's okay to mess up, you will mess up, Feel free to, once you get a rhythm, to be experimental, have some fun with it. Um, producing is one of the most daunting things that I had, and I realized it was fun, and I actually liked it, and I like being able to control my own show. So it's cool to sit in that chair and do that. So don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Um, and I hope this video is really, really helpful. And if you guys have questions, I think this will be shown at a lot of meetings. So just ask. Always ask me, Garrett, um, uh, Claire, anybody. Uh, really on exec staff will be able to help you out with that stuff or experienced show uh, um, people who are experienced hosting shows. So I hope all that stuff was good. I think I got everything. Anything else, Garrett? Yep. No, okay. that, that was everything. All right. So awesome. I uh, hope this video was, was helpful to you guys. It's going to be on YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys send it to other people. Um, and it's, yeah. And also ask producers too. If you, when you, when you sit on a show with somebody, make sure you're intently watching that part of it. Not, don't just be there for the discussion. Really watch them do then how they do their process. Um, cause it can give you an idea of how you want to do your process. So cool. cool.